Hey guys, this is Frisky Carrot, and welcome back to Race the Sun. Uh, it's the next day that since I recorded the first part, so it's gonna be a new day, like a new map, because it's a new day. And yeah, that's the little t technique that I mentioned uh, last episode. We're on like little dome ball things. You can actually bounce off of them. Uh, I might sound a bit weird because I'm slightly ill. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah. This might be like a best moment montage sort of thing. Being as I explained everything on the first part. And now have nothing really to explain. So... Okay, so we're getting into a bit different stuff now. Might as well jump, because there's a jump there. Yeah, things have already started falling. Oh, let's get that. Okay, maybe not. Oh, crap. Okay. At least it's giving me quite a lot of powers. Powers, like power up things though. Okay, there's quite a lot of clouds on this one. Okay. Yeah, it's getting a little bit crazy now because it's on region 3 with quite a lot of things falling. That's a cloud. I hate this bit. Nope. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, okay, just give me all of the clouds. Jesus. Let's try and bounce off of this. Yes. You can still pick up power-ups in the air as well. But they only go a certain height. So, okay, they've already started bombing stuff. Oh, I didn't land on that. Cut out. Okay. I already got a shield thing, so I can't pick that up. I hate this bit. And up. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, no. Com fine, completely fine. And this bit again, well, that was only a small one. That's the music of You're Going to Die playing. Okay. Yeah. No, that's normal. Try and dodge these things. Okay, maybe not. It's actually really hard. I mean, like, the world record for this takes like 43 minutes of gameplay or something and mine takes about five you know reading six isn't bad i'm on reading six oh, i've just finished reading five now and i'm on reading six now uh yeah the sun is going down quite quick okay yeah, i'm basically screwed okay that was very nice the third challenge only turn left through two regions in one run. Let's actually try to do that. Because, you know, why not? It's quite tricky to dodge stuff only using left. Because you might be dodging more into more danger. How am I going to get out of this one? Like that. Well, that was easy. Um, this seems like it's going to go bad. Um, maybe... Oh, I just saw a portal. They transport you to a like space world thing. It's actually really cool. I don't think I've showed one of them yet. So because the map is always the same for one day, you can sort of like develop a pattern to go through if you play it too many times. Okay, that was actually quite nice. I've never actually landed on a cloud. There's a trophy for it, or an achievement, or whatever. But I've never actually done it. I need to do it. It doesn't say that you need to do it for the first two regions. It just says do it for two. Doing this in apocalypse mode would just be mental. Sun's going down quite far now. Ooh, okay. Yeah. There's the music of goodbye. 
Okay, hopefully that raises it enough to actually get through this region. But then I need another one to get through region 3. And I need to do right anyway. Last obstacle as well. Okay. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? I think I'm gonna move on to apocalypse mode again. Because that's actually really fun. Ooh, what's that? You may customize yourself with decals. I don't know where they are, but whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to apocalypse mode. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah. Be back in a sec. Okay, we're back into apocalypse mode. And as you can, never mind. Yeah, I've just put this on. As you can see on my left wing, I've got the thing that I've just unlocked. Which is quite distracting. I don't know whether you actually go faster as well. I keep doing that. God damn it. This isn't really a game for like non-stop commentary. This is a game that you need to actually focus on to play. But if you get into sort of if you're used to talking, you might be able to play this while concentrating. But being as I've just started. I'm not that good at playing and talking, so if I suck, then that's some of the reason why. I mean, yeah, I admit that I do suck at this game, but I do quite a bit better off camera. And I'm screwed. Wow. It unblinded me just for me to see my death. Thank you, game. Yeah, and when you die, the game sort of goes glitchy as well. It's like everything just moves away, and you only see what you died on. This might not be a glitch, it might be intended, but I just find it really weird. Don't squish me! No! I... even people who are really good at this game, I can't see them turning one way throughout two regions of this. I can't even make it through one way to turn in left and right. Nope. I've never actually passed one region. Maybe they aren't regions. Maybe it just keeps going on for endless. Actually, I might have passed a region. I don't know. God damn them. Yeah, the game sort of goes a little bit glitchy. Like, what? I think they actually make up their own courts as well. Well, that was close. And that was. That was maybe a bit too close. Like, who dares wins? I think that's actually... It didn't have a person saying, oh, this was made by... This quote that was made by this person. So I, they might... That quote might actually be by the game. Or cake game creators, rather. Just the game makes up quotes. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, I might be going a bit too fast for that, but I wasn't. I'm gonna go over you. Okay. That was maybe a bad decision. Oh yay, I actually leveled up. Uh, I got an achievement called Nighthawk apparently. I got this uh, task one and you can carry two emergency portals. Alright, the shield. So now you can make even more mistakes. Yay. So maybe this will actually give me some luck. I'm probably not going to make this. I was right. Okay. I'm gonna end it you. Thanks for watching. Intra.